All right, so something a little different and uh, <laughs> long overdue, I think. This Br Tower Bridge is one of the first sets I had uh, bought in my new iteration of what I do. Um, actually, it was the second set um, because I realized the end scale track fits perfectly <laughs> going across it. But it wasn't until recently that I realized that this isn't a complete bridge. This is only half the bridge that's actually there. Um, I've never seen it in person, but, you know, maybe one day I'll take a trip to London and... And I also realized that my N-Scale track would allow for that extension. And so that's what I'm going to do uh, right now, is build the extension on either side. So there's no way this is all going to fit on my table, but I'm going to build it out anyway and check it out and see how it looks. Just finished the extension there, as you can see. Um, looks pretty good. It should be a nice addition to the actual bridge, and uh, as you can tell, <laughs> looking very similar to its true self. Um, tunnel looks to be the same size, which is nice. That way the trains can roll right across it, and all of it will be good. It should look pretty good where it is in the spot where it's gonna go right over there so I'll get that hooked up now in order to install this correctly um, you'll see I move this back one stud from the original holder so it's just off one which will per fit perfectly on the extension and then it's just a matter of taking this guy popping him off and there's a single piece right here you take that out and then that's what's going to be connecting uh, right here. And then you just pop it on and all should be well. Slightly different from the instructions that I have. Um, they wanted you to like disassemble this whole thing and build it up, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it simple and just do it connecting by one stud. Um, doing it this way, I was short a little bit right here for the uh, brown, <laughs> uh, but I'll just get a couple more pieces and slot them in there on either side. They just need, you know, four extra ones to do that. And I think it will be a lot better to deal with instead of this being like tightly coupled and connected, um, which would be impossible to move whenever I need to get around to moving this. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works. All right. Well, here it is in all of its glory uh, put back in place. You can see the main part here and of course the two new side parts. Uh, I think it definitely makes it look more complete, uh, that's for sure. And uh, speaking of completeness, Alexa, turn on the lights. So I had lights in the original one, obviously, but the two t new towers I don't have lights for um, because, well, they didn't, <laughs> they obviously weren't part of the original lighting kit. Um, but, you know, I think it definitely looks more complete, like I said. And with the train going across, it's it's going to be nice. So I'm glad this all worked out. And uh, looks really good. This was one of the original LEGO sets I purchased <laughs> because I realized that these tunnels fit two and scale tracks perfectly. 
So I, you know, I had to get it once I figured that out. I'm like, oh, that's so cool. I can, I can do, you know, some end scale with the little, with the practical bridge. <laughs> um, and then, of course, the extensions just make it look all the more better because it really, you know, fills it out and just doesn't end randomly, you know, right here. So, um, I'm happy with it. It's, uh, it's, it's very practical for what I have, and, uh, it looks good. Uh, I put a secret garden up on top, which is actually a skyline of the Wizard of Oz, so, um, it fit perfectly right there. I'm like, hey, that's pretty cool. And I also stuck the cars up here, too, that come with the set, because I didn't know what else to do with it. Um, so, yeah, that's that. I scooch on back a little more. It's super wide now. Like, you wouldn't really want to put this on a table because there's nothing... It's too big for it. But it looks perfect as, you know, my end, for my end scale layout. And like I said, it's actually practical. No other LEGO set I have, like, is functional like that. Like, I got a lot of cool sets, but nothing... <laughs> nothing else that, like, works with the layout as much as this because it's a real bridge and it really really works so you know i'm happy with it and uh yeah i think it was 76 dollars to do the extensions which isn't too bad you know for what it is but if you're interested in doing something similar or want to know what the extensions look like when it's all complete you know here you go i am kind of mad about my lights right here these have always been really finicky like they're supposed to turn on obviously like this side does but i've been fiddling with them and they, they tend to come and go but I, I tried forever to get it working for this video and it just doesn't doesn't want to play ball so it, it looks it probably you don't notice it until i point it out um, but whatever. <laughs> uh, here's another train. What are the odds? Coming back across and through that tunnel onto the extension. So yeah, there you go.